Hey there, YouTube. This is Cameron. And this is Brad. And we're about to do a critical hit. It's not a review. It's not, not a review. review. It's our top five most anticipated games of 2013. Oh, yeah, yeah. I I'm happy you said that. I was going to say 2012. Oh. <laughs> of last year. <laughs> All right, coming in at number five is... Fire Emblem! Subtitle. I, the 3DS. We, I don't want to put the title for it. But yeah, I'm just excited for it because it's going to be a great 3DS game. I'm I, excited to play my 3DS. Today. It'll be nice to have something to use on a 3DS, and I've played almost every Fire Emblem that's come out, and I've loved every single and one. And what so is, is Fire awesome. Emblem for the people that don't know? It is a, it's kind of like Final Fantasy Tactics, kind of like a tile-based tactical combat. Okay, and I like it because, well, I've heard I like it, because you could actually get party members, and you get a bunch of them, and if they die in this game, they're not coming back. Yeah, they're it's dead over. for good. And some of them, they give you like a kind of three strike you're out thing, but in a lot of them, once they're dead, they're just gone forever. Yeah, that's a lot of motivation for me, because I like the characters, and if I like somebody, I'm going to go back a million times to play them. The game comes out February 4th for the 3DS. And we're stoked. Super stoked. It's an RPG, guys. Go get it when it comes out. February 5th. 4th. 4th. <laughs> Coming in at number four is none other than the legendary Watch Dogs. The legendary game no one knows anything about. Well, they watched. If you watched anything in E3 last year, guys, uh, this was the Ubisoft game that came out of nowhere that just blew everyone's mind. Super Why? awesome trailer. Yeah, it looks like a really good, like kind of like hacking game, like a Deus Ex kind of feel, but it's not too far in the future where it's not unlikely that we couldn't do these kind of things. It's just it's cool the amount of control they give you in the trailer. Like you can turn off lights, you can hack phones, you can find out if a guy's HIV positive or whatever they want to do. Yeah, it's near future. It looks like it's going to be a lot of fun. I, I like that it's near future, but it's not like Alien. There's not like aliens coming down. Not like Mass Effect future. Yeah, we're not too far off that it's like, ugh, I don't know what the hell's going on. But the game is coming out next year, I believe, and it's going to be on the PS3 and Xbox 360 or PS4 and Xbox 720 whatever. or whatever they're yeah, going to it's, it's definitely coming out for PC. Buy for PC. PC is better. It's going to be great, guys. Keep it assembled, coming at number three, we've got Beyond Two Souls. And the reason we like it is... It's because we both really liked Heavy Rain. We loved Heavy Rain. It was a great game. We played that game in one night, and it was an amazing story with lots of plot twists, lots of turns, had really interesting gameplay where you didn't really actually control a lot of things, you just kind of moved the guy around with a quick time events, which was very, very cool. I liked it a lot. And to me, this game looks like it's going to be Heavy Rain, but with superpowers, and where you kill lots of people. <laughs> you get a lady with a ghost, which is the ghost's name is Ivan, and it's got Ellen Page in it, which is... Getting, I'm excited to just kill lots of people in a cool Heavy Rain-style game. So yeah, we're going to get it. Looks awesome. I'll, I'll buy it twice. Number two is Last of Us. The Last, the last of Us. Gotta be specific. Yeah, this is one of the, it's the Naughty Dog game that's set in the postal apocalyptic world. Post -apocalyptic. Yep, that's how you say it. Uh, where everyone's gone to shit, basically. The world's all effed over. It's horrible. There's some kind of infected monsters. And you play as Joel, and you take a girl around with you. Who What's is a girl's name? I think her name is Ellie, I believe. And they don't... And they don't tell you if it's a daughter. I don't. I don't believe it's his daughter. I believe it's just a girl. If, from what I remember, it's a he has to escort her like across country as a favor to someone. Yeah, and he's doing this, and he just keeps running into stuff. And it's gonna be like a survival, you know, survival game. Where you have to manage your guns, manage your bullets, manage your like supplies. You might have to eat to keep alive. And it's made by Naughty Dog. I love Uncharted, so it's to me, I think of it as being a combination. You take Uncharted, Resident Evil, and Fallout into one game. And so and that's makes, and it makes a good good beat. And we are excited. We cannot wait to play this. PS3 exclusive, guys. Get a PS3. Love it. All right, now for our most anticipated game of all 2013. And, and you guys might be surprised to hear this. I'm sure it's not on very many lists. I'm still shocked. I'm still shocked we even chose this thing. But we decided to go out there and pick BioShock Infinite. Whoa, whoa, mind blown. Take a second here, that was crazy. I don't even like Bioshock, guys. I don't even like the first one that much. I didn't even, like the, I didn't even play the second one. I heard it was garbage is what I heard. I liked it, but I like number one way more. But this trailer has been coming out for this game, which has been so cool. You're in a floating city, you play as a guy named Booker, and you need to help this girl who is being, you know, 
like guarded by like this big giant bird and there's all these different kind of enemies like you know candy men and big dad like big daddy kind of things and it's just uh, it's could it's they have good picked thing. could they have picked a better like place for it to take place is a city floating in the sky no they can't that That's is so cool no they can't just the super powered plasmids the magic girl the big, i think they're called tonics these times. are the tonics whatever and then the bird and the girl and this magic time just, bending everything about this game is guys excited the combat the story sky everything. hook sky hook there's a thing. freaking sky hook guys just run around on a hook on your arm so yeah that's our, our top five games of 2013 sorry if we missed some of the games that you guys love i don't know it's what we wanted to see exactly we don't care about your call we, of modern sh duty sh warfare sh 7 we care about everything our fans think don't we children Yes, we do. So we're going to start getting on some more reviews and gameplay videos for you guys. But we got nothing to play for the next couple weeks because there's nothing really coming out for the next month until January or something like that. Yeah, we're looking at things that are coming out early January to get on. But uh, not much right now that we want to invest money in. So we will see you guys probably January sometime for our next review. That's right. We'll, we'll probably put up a few other videos, not reviews. But we you know whatever. We'll figure it out. Okay, love you guys. Love you all. And you specifically. Bye-bye.